Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So before we get into um, the um, video today guys, I just want to quickly do a quick thanks actually because I don't think I said, um, I don't think I brought it up that we hit 3,500 subscribers now. We're almost at 3,600 so I just want to make a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed along the journey from 3 to 4,000 and obviously for everyone who was here before as well, just a huge thanks for sticking around, obviously watching the videos, liking them, leaving comments, just a massive, massive thanks to you, it's much, much appreciated. And yeah, we are getting close to 4K now, this is getting good. And there will be a live stream at 4K as well, we do have that all planned out, so stay tuned for that once we get to 4K. So yeah, just a huge, huge thanks to you guys, it is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I just want to get out of the way. And also, I'll mention as well, if you haven't already, join my Discord, I'll leave a link to it in the um, description. That's where you can like chat with me, obviously outside of YouTube, you can chat with me live and stuff like that if you want to ask questions, or you just have discussions about astronomy, you can discuss it with everyone, share your solar systems with everyone as well. And um, yeah, so yeah, check out the Discord if you haven't. Also, I'd like to say as well, if you upload your solar system to Discord, don't expect me to do it as soon as you post it. So obviously, I have a lot of systems to do that people post on the YouTube comments as well. So I do usually just pick them at random. So yeah, please keep that in mind as well. So if you upload one you haven't, and I never do it, just upload it again and let me know saying this was done a while ago, and then I will try and get around to doing it at some point. So yeah, just keep that in mind, please, guys, just to keep things organised. But yeah, anyway, today we are checking out a system called Super Solar, and it's from the user um, Wishing Shaft Nismo's IP. I'm really sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I think I've done one of your systems before. I'm pretty sure I have. I'll leave a link to um, him down below in the description as well, guys. Like always. So let's get into this now. From the picture here, this is it, Super Solar. Looks like there is a very, very high amount of objects in here. So let's see what we got today. So this could be... Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that's quite a lot. It's not as big as last episode, the Goombas system, but it may have more objects. I don't know. Let's see how many are in here. Okay, 69. Okay, Goombas may have more, but still. That's quite a lot. I'm assuming a lot of these are just asteroids, but I never know. I don't know. So let's see what we um, got today. So here is our star. It looks like a red dwarf, actually. Okay. Not many of you guys do red dwarfs. Yeah, I think this is a red dwarf. So we'll get a quick comparison with the sun and Proxima Centauri here. So there is the, there's the sun. Yeah, it's definitely a red dwarf. And then Proxima is there. So it's a relatively it's more of a larger red dwarf. But yeah, it's definitely a red dwarf. Cause it's not an orange dwarf. Because an orange dwarf is sort of this size, like Alpha Centauri B here. So, yeah, here is our main star, and its luminosity is 0.02, so 2% the brightness of the sun, so very, very dim, as you can see here. So, oh, we actually have an Earth here, hello. Frozen Earth. Oh, let's have a look here. Whoa. So this one's all been blacked out, so it looks like this was turned to a gas giant at one point, and that's why it's got um, all of the black surface, but the climate mode on it, climate mode switched on, so it makes all of the ice appear. That's quite a cool-looking Earth with the black sort of surface. If we turn that off, that's what it actually looks like. But if we turn it on again, obviously the black surface is visible with the snow. That's a very cool looking earth, I have to say. Nice black and white theme going on there. It's obviously minus 31 degrees. How far are we from the star? We can't be that far. Probably closer than the orbit of Mercury, I have to say. So, yeah, it only takes 36 days. This is closer than what Mercury is to the sun. So there's that. i put labels back on. Okay, next up we've got... Um, Tiganoe. I'm so sorry if I'm saying these wrong. Um, so we've got this one here. Ooh, it's freezing up. Okay, I'm guessing this one's got different seasons. It's got like an ice age season, and then when it gets closer to the star again, it warms up. So as you can see, it does get closer to the star and cuts in Earth's orbits. Maybe these two get quite close and their orbits would change. Maybe like here, for instance, they're going to affect each other in any way? No, it doesn't look like it. They probably will eventually. But yeah, here it is in its liquid form in its summer season. So it's looking like a very earth-like object as we can see so 3.45 atm yeah that makes sense since you will need it around a red dwarf need that very very hot right now 83 but obviously as we saw it does get cold so it does balance out 25.6 life similarity i'm guessing this changes as it gets closer to the star that as you can see as we're getting further away that will increase and as it starts to freeze over again and the earth you see that these numbers are constantly changing so pretty cool then it's obviously getting lower now very, very nice. Definitely, um, I do like the seasons on here. That is pretty cool. I don't think anyone has done that before. So, thumbs up to you for um, doing that before anyone else. Because yeah, no one else has done seasons on a planet yet like this, where it has it gets closer at one point and then further at another point. Very, very nice idea. Definitely like that. Um, next up, we've got Titanus. So, this is obviously a Titan, as we can see. Let's see if there's any custom surface below. It looks like there is, since I saw those colours. So, this is it below. So it's a frozen green world right now, so looking good. Does it warm up, or is it always cold? 
looks like it's always going to be cold since its orbit doesn't change. So this is what it looks like, obviously, without the clouds. And then with the clouds, there it is there. So you can just about see the surface below. But yeah, there is Titanus. So that's, that's about the size of Earth, as we can see there. Okay, here we got the next. Next up, we've got the Blood Moon. So I'm guessing this is the, yeah, this is the Red Moon. I have one of these as well. Can't remember if you were the one who sent this in or not. But here's the Blood Moon. This is really cool. Look at that. Yeah, I definitely have one. Uh, blood. Do I? Do I? Yeah, there is Blood Moon and Blood Moon 2. I've got my own custom version, and I've got an actual version, which is this. Look at the red on that. It looks pretty menacing, but yeah, I already have one of these. Yeah, this is a really cool object, the Blood Moon. Look at that. It would be cool as well if we got this object modded to have it with a red atmosphere. That could look quite interesting. Yeah, there's, a, um, there's an idea for you modders out there. Make like a Blood Moon with a red atmosphere. That could look quite interesting. Um, yeah, so there's the Blood Moon. Uh, next up, we've got um, Olapi. So this is just a, um, a little tiny object. So we don't need to zoom in on any of these. Then we've got, of course... Um, oh, no, it's not Nus Nuskuski. It's actually just Nuska S. I'm guessing maybe cut some of the letters off there. But yeah, there's that. So I'm guessing all of these are asteroids. I will try and click on as many as I can. But I'm assuming these are all asteroids. So he sort of made his own little asteroid belt here. That's quite cool. So I'm, I am assuming these are all asteroids. So we'll just try and click on... Pretty much every single one. It looks like we are all asteroids here. Very big ring though. It's probably the closest amount of objects we've seen in the subscriber system so far. And I think, what episode is this now? I think this is, let me have a look quick. Um, I actually don't know. Um, this is episode 26 now. Wow. 26 systems you guys are sending now. Here's a planet. So here's one. So it's an Earth-sized object, two times the mass. It's getting very dim here, as you can see. It's not much light. Um, let's check how far it is from the star. Uh, where the stats? Um, 15 years. So, f so this is almost the distance of Jupiter now. 4.48 AU, 15 years. So almost around Jupiter distance. Okay, there's a lot of objects, but I'm just seeing... Looks like most of these are just little asteroids, though. But there is a hidden planet in there, which we discovered. Okay, so I think that could be... Is there any more... Anything hidden out here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I think that is the whole of the... Um, yeah, the super solar system. I think that's that ring is pretty crazy. And then there's our red dwarf in the middle there. So, yeah, I think that is everything. But we... Oh, what's that over there? How far? Oh, it's a glitched out. That's glitched out. Look. Where, where are we right now? Look at that. It's just stuck on my... Super glued to my screen, that number there. This took us to Fallit. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Let's just see if there's any more. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's get a lineup here of all the objects. Okay, here we go. So here's our lineup. Now, I've got to say, uh, this one here... Out of the ones I've seen, this one is definitely my favourite. I love how the seasons on it change from, obviously, um, very, very hot to 80 degrees. And then it goes all the way to minus 41, as we can see here. I really like the seasons on that. That's definitely cool. Uh, yeah, so it looks like, yeah, we've seen all of the big objects. Then we just got literally hundreds, well, not hundreds, but, yeah, we've got loads and loads of little asteroids. Let's um, see if there's any hidden object at the very bottom. So I know some of you guys do like to hide little objects in. But, no, it looks like there's no hidden object in here, so... There it is. So there's a nice little system, I have to say. Definitely very cool. Yeah, but I really, really like this solar. This is definitely my favourite there. That That is cool. So let's just zoom out. Let's get another look at it here. So let's um, watch it warm up again. Let's speed up time. Here we go. And this system actually runs as well, which is quite cool. So any second now you're going to warm up. Yeah, the temperature's going down. And it's going to melt, as we can see. Any second. And there you go. So it's all melted down again. Oh, that is cool. 17th. And that's warming up again past the temperature of Earth. And yeah, now it's getting really, really hot. Yeah, that is cool. I really like this object. So let's check its similarity at about 6 degrees. Any... See, it goes higher at 89. Then it will obviously cool down again when it... Or obviously it will, it will, the number will go down when it freezes over. But yeah, that is definitely my favourite object. Just because of the way it acts with the seasons. That is really, really cool. So definitely a thumbs up for that. That is cool. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So yeah, um, make sure to let us know your thoughts down in the um, comments below. So I'm pretty sure the creator of this system... Um, will like um, what you think about it. So, Wissing Wissing Shaft Ms. Morris IP. I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but yeah, his system. I'll leave a link to him down below, like I said earlier as well. So yeah, if you want to check him out, um, you can click the link. And also, like I said, I'll leave a link to my Discord. If you haven't joined already, you can go ahead and join that. And yeah, that's that. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for I don't know 40 likes. I don't really set like goals, whatever. 40 likes. Um. And obviously subscribe as well if you're new. Leave a like. I, know, I already said that. What am I doing? And yeah, let us know what you think about this system down below. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be um, interested to see. But yeah, this is cool. Yeah, really let me know your thoughts on this planet. This is really cool. I love the way the season's on that. Look at that. That is definitely cool. Really, really like that. 
So it's like the Earth that faces the two extremes, too hot or too cold. So it's like a um, Earth, but with a bit of Mars and Venus in it, where it gets really hot and then really cold. So that is very cool. I really like that. So yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.